Hi, my name's Tommy. I work at Blue Water Photo, and I'm here to help you assemble your 12 to 50 Nauticam Zoom gear. Nauticam has printed out some incredible instructions, so I want to go through all the pieces that you need and that you should have when installing the Zoom gear. First, you're going to need the two half rings. Um, that's what these look like here. Uh, the Zoom tube. Also, spring ring. As you can see, it has the four springs on it. And then the zoom gear ring, uh, the plastic macro switch, the macro switch gear, uh, the, the locking gear, and then you're gonna have three metal positioning blocks and then 12 screws. Uh, four screws are gonna be longer than the other eight, and those are gonna be used when attaching the two half rings to the lens. So first, you're gonna to wanna to take the lens and the two half rings and attach the two half rings to the, I guess you could call it the zooming part of the lens. Once those are attached, you wanna make sure that the tab also, in the instructions, the alignment index is facing the line on the lens. Once it's aligned with that line, you're going to use the four, four longer screws to attach the two half pieces. After mounting the two half rings onto the lens, you're going to want to attach the zoom tube. When attaching the zoom tube, you're going to see the, the white circle and you're going to attach that or align that rather to the lens with, with the alignment tab, um, it's going to go right over the red dot on the lens. Once that's securely in place, you're going to want to grab the spring ring. Um, there's going to be an opening on the spring ring. This is going to go slide right over the opening here on the macro button of the lens. So once you slide that onto the lens and have it secure, um, you can go ahead and put the lens on its front side and then attach the zoom gear ring. The zoom gear ring has uh, four holes on the top of it, a smooth side and then a gear side. The, the two smaller holes are going to attach to the pin, to the two pins on the, the tube. Once it's attached, you're going to want to see that the gear side is over the macro button on the lens like this. And then you can screw the zoom gear ring into the tube. So now after step five, uh, you're going to go to step six. And this will be attaching the macro button. It's a plastic piece. It's different from the other three metal pieces. Um, this is going to sit right over the macro button and it's going to attach to the, to the spring gear. Okay, so the macro button is attached. I will then take the switch gear and attach it to the lens here. Uh, first thing you want to make sure is that there's a little um, indentation on the switch gear um, and that's going to want to align with the white dot here on the lens and the white dot here on the tube. Once that's put into place, I'll put the lens on its backside. And then, as long as the, the screws part are facing out, you know it, it's on correctly. After that is attached, take the cap off of the lens and then attach the locking ring. Once the locking ring is assembled, you're going to take the positioning blocks and attach them to the tube. You're going to want to make sure that the smaller lip on the positioning block will sit in between the grooves or this groove here on the switch gear. Once that's put into place, you can then screw the positioning blocks into the tube. After you attach the positioning blocks, you're going to want to make sure that the zoom gear is working properly. So you're going to turn the switch gear. Um, it only turns a little bit, 
but if you can see that it's moving, the zoom gear is most likely attached correctly and you're ready for use. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please contact us at the store here, Blue Water Photo, or you can check out our website at www.bluewaterphotostore.com. Thank you for watching.